We're also tracking two new storms this evening, one just moving out of the west, heading to the Midwest and then hitting the east. The other winding up yet again to strike the west all over again, up to five feet of additional snow. So Ginger Z timing all of this out and Matt Gutman tonight with the families just now returning to their homes. Along the slippery road in snow battered Crestline in San Bernardino County, we met Samantha Latino and her toddler, Gio. Residents here finally granted access to return to their homes. You worried about your cats? A little bit, yeah. Her street still unplowed. We navigate down that treacherous sure. curve. It's just this curve that's like the worst curve oh, on the street. The and finally, we arrive. Oh. Oh. The cats people, still there. Oh, mama, you're alive. I'm so grateful. Little Gio, so happy to be home and back with his toys. Oh, that's scary. I have no idea how I'm going to manage that. But like so many families here, there is much work left to do. Beneath tons of snow and these mounds are cars. Now, these college students have been working for the past two days to dig those cars out. They believe they're still five to seven here. And across this part of San Bernardino County, there are believed to be hundreds of cars locked in snow embankments. Crews still racing to clear roadways. Look at how much work they have to do. Now, that's the 18. As you travel towards Big Bear, that entire stretch of the 18 still has to be plowed. Up north, Yosemite National Park announcing they'll remain closed at least through the weekend. This year, Nevada's bracing for up to five feet of additional snow. And at South Lake Tahoe, crews shoveling snow from rooftops, hoping to prevent additional collapses. David, because the roads in those mountain communities are still so clogged with snow, right now authorities are only allowing residents to go through a policy that they say will likely be in effect until next week because there is still so much more snow left to be removed. David. Yeah, we can see that line of families just trying to get home tonight. Matt Gutman, our thanks to you again this evening. Let's get right to Chief Meteorologist Ginger Z tracking both of these systems. Ginger, good evening. Hey, good evening to you, David. We are fighting some brutal gusts with the white caps on the Hudson behind me, but all eyes are on this next storm that's coming out of the Rockies headed toward the northern plains because it's going to produce four to ten inches of snow. You see those winter storm watches, Twin Cities, Mason City, uh, Iowa, western Wisconsin. That's who's going to get it mostly Thursday through Thursday night. Then Chicago, a place that's you know been pretty snow starved for the season, about 15 inches below average. They'll get a couple inches with this as it slides through on Friday. But then our attention and then turns by the weekend, most of it Friday and Friday night, but Thursday through Saturday is the window with that abundant subtropical moisture. Two to five feet of snow in the highest elevations could put us in top three category and flash flooding possible along streams. Big time problems with all that snow plus rain, David, in the West. The West cannot get a break. Ginger Z will be watching in the morning. Thank you, Ginger. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.